Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use RF profile or how to create an RF profile that uh, that can help you in customizing your uh, uh, sites. Um, so why we need uh, RF profile? So one of the uh, reason for RF profile is you will have multiple AP models used in your controller and you have to uh, control your APs based on the model and this is one of the option you can use for customizing the RF side of it. Uh, for an example, if you have uh, some APs uh, like uh, 1600, 2600, 3600 or 3800 with a mix of any, any combination 35, 36, 37, 38 any combination of your, uh, uh, your uh, APs and uh, that can have different uh, criteria on your radio side uh, even you can follow the data sheet of uh, each and every uh, AP model and you can come to know that what is the maximum power level supported and the other uh, radio patterns azimuth pattern and all those things are changing uh, based on the a AP model so you have to customize that otherwise mix of APs will um, will not help you uh, to fine tune your RF or the RR will not be able to function properly uh, based on that AP model. So you have to you have to make sure AP models are taken care separately in RF profile so that they will not have any issues on it. So before we go into RF profile I want to talk about one of the feature called out of the box out of box so what is the biggest uh, one of the biggest problem what we are facing is you got a new ap and you uh, connected to your network and using the uh, normal discovery mechanism these ap's will find out your uh, controller and it will come and join on your controller once it's join on your controller it will be participating on default group and that default group ap's will start broadcasting the SSIDs range from 1 to 16. In case if you have any any WLANs configured under uh, 1 to 16 range and this new APs will start uh, broadcasting those SSIDs and this is not something uh, as a best practice is not as something uh, good for your infrastructure or uh, your uh, production scenario because you have to control that because you don't know who is going to connect an AP and you don't know which AP is going to come and join on your uh, system. So to avoid all those uh, issues, what we can do is you can enable this particular checkbox under RF profile. When you enable this RF profile, this is going to create uh, multiple things. So let me click on apply here. So when I click on apply, so this uh, you can read this message saying that, uh, so th this one is going to create an AP group that is called as out of box then it is also going to create a uh, RF profile based on that and that will be applied to your uh, out of the box uh, out of the box uh, AP group so what will happen is all the APs are coming and join on your uh, system in your controller it will automatically move out from your default group and it will change to out of the box AP group and that bro uh, out of box AP group will have a different RF profile that will make sure your radios are down and you are not broadcasting any SSIDs by default it will not have any uh, WLANs under that so let me click on OK here then I clicked on OK and the same time you can see two RF profiles got created here then uh, this is the RR, uh, RF profile one then you can see the uh, default settings here then uh, the other one is for a B radio then these are the uh, two uh, RF profiles got created. Then under AP group, you can see another AP group got created here. So that called as out of box. Then in out of box, you don't have uh, some of the options available on your AP group. But in WLAN, you can see uh, you have a separate out of group WLAN. So you can choose what is the uh, things you want to do it. But the radio side, it will be uh, mapped with this particular uh, RF profile. So these are the profiles going to upload on your uh, radio. So this will allow you to uh, take care of the new APs without going into uh, default group and this is really useful uh, if you are planning to do any any expansion or anything like that in your system. So that is uh, 
that is one of the feature I want to explain uh, with RF profile. So you can uh, you can keep this enabled so that your new APIs will be handled separately. Now let me show you how to create an RF profile here. So while clicking it, you will uh, you will have an option to uh, select give a, a profile name. So here I'm going to give a profile name as 3600A so that uh, uh, th this one I'm planning to use it for 3600 series APs on radio A, uh, A0.11 A. Then uh, template you can select what is the template you want to use it as a default one. So once you select that template, it will be uh, customized based on that template. So let me select this. Uh, so so by, by default, it will be none because you can start from scratch. But if you want to change that to uh, some specific uh, methods if you already know that it's a typical uh, client density scenario or something then you can uh, you can uh, select that profile type so I'm not going to select that uh, here so right now I have an AP uh, RF profile name named as 3600A that is for mapped with uh, A radio then click on apply so this one will create an RF profile uh, with uh, for uh, A node to A because 11 B G will be separate then here you can uh, select anything um, that uh, not select you can customize your RF uh, methods on uh, this uh, this part so um, let me go back uh, let me take a step back so why we need this right so I'm going to go to this particular 11 uh, AC configuration side inside network you have all these features available and all these criteria, uh, data rates and all you can uh, select it from here then RRM is running then RRM is uh, also you can select TPC, DCA and all those things are uh, selected here uh, channel and all those things so by default everything will be going through this particular settings and this is the global setting so RF profile will allow you to override these settings so let me go go back to RF uh, profile so as you can see here a 11 tab is giving same options available on the network page of a 11 in the global side on this page but you can uh, you can now you can customize uh, what you want to do with this particular RF group then you can select that then RRM specific uh, features will come under this tab so whatever you are getting under this RF grouping TPC, uh, DC and all, uh, coverage and all, it will be coming under this particular tab. In this tab, you can uh, select and you can select the channel, what are the channels you want to enable and all those things can be uh, done here. Then do you want to extend the, uh, like enable the extended UNI 2. So all those things can be customized under RRM tab. Then high density scenarios, what, what you want to do with high density scenario that you have separate uh, separate tab for that then next one is the client distribution again load balancing how you want to do the load balancing that it can be done in this one so this is for uh, a02.11a radio so let me uh, show you uh, let me show you how to create another profile for uh, a02.11b let me click on new then uh, b i'll just change to b so uh, and radio i can change to bg then click on apply so when I apply here, uh, here uh, you can see this uh, rates are getting changed. RRM, you can see the channel numbers are got, uh, channel numbers are getting changed. You can select those things, high density and, uh, uh, and uh, client distribution and all. So uh, in RRM, you don't have uh, that 20 megahertz, 20, 40, 80 megahertz because it's not available. So uh, those, those kind of things can be customized under your uh, RF profile. So after creating this RF profile, this RF profile can be applied to your AP group. So for an example, let me uh, show you an AP group. Let me create an AP group here. So let me add an AP group, AP3600 site one. Let me add this group. So this is my AP group that is going to be uh, a 30 a 3600 series APs and this is the AP group and I'm going to change this RF profile right now it's a, a radio uh, is selected as none 
none means it's going to take the configuration from the global configuration pool so here I'm going to uh, select 36A so as you sorry as you can see here uh, you have only uh, a related 802.11 a related profiles available here so let me create let me select this uh, 3600A then next one is uh, B so only the B related uh, B related profiles will be displayed here let me select this and click on apply but when you click on apply this is going to reboot the APs because you are changing your RF profile right now this one is uh, uh, this one is uh, uh, behaving with the uh, with the RF profile and that is uh, that is going to RF profile means with the global settings it's running APs are running uh, with uh, global settings and we are actually asking APs to change the behavior on the RF side so that need a reboot so let me click on OK that will reboot all the APs inside this AP group so by uh, right now we just created this AP group and we don't have any APs participating in this so it's not going to reboot any APs but if you click on this RF profile and apply it will it will reboot the APs if you have any APs so be uh, careful while doing that now you can select which AP you want to participate in this uh, group so uh, it's I already covered how to create AP groups and how to uh, do this mapping and everything so for an example because when I add the AP even changing AP group need a reboot uh, reboot and do the uh, reset on the cap app discovery side so let me select my 3600 series APs here so that is uh, name as flex connect 2 here so this is my 3600 series so I'll try to add this AP into my 3600 AP group so that it will uh, it will go with the head AP so uh, this is also going to uh, reboot the AP so so now we have 3600 APs 3600 series APs mapped to this particular AP group and this AP group is mapped to the criteria based on the uh, access uh, sorry our profile uh, called as A and B so you can you can choose what is the power level because TPC and all trans uh, power levels and DCA and all uh, it's customized from uh, global settings but uh, in uh, for an example one particular controller is supporting multiple countries in that scenario some of the countries will not have uh, a node dot eleven bg support itself or aga support itself or you will not have all the channel support available and maximum power level should be controlled so you can you can choose anything and based on that you can apply uh, you can create an rf profile and you can apply that to your ap group and your ap's will be behaving uh, as per the uh, country specific RF domain standards hope this one uh, helps you uh, to find out uh, like uh, to uh, create an RF profile and apply that on, on your WLAN and it will also uh, this auto box will uh, help you to create that SSID uh, sorry AP group that will make sure new APs are uh, not broadcasting your uh, initial default group SSIDs and all. Hope uh, this one will help you uh, in future while you are doing your RF planning. Thank you for watching.